Happy Path Online Yoga Studio. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Shani Matthews. Please make your way into a child's pose. Letting the draw, knees draw wide, toes touch, arms long towards the head of your mat. Let the forehead drop into the ground. Relaxing the elbows into the ground as well. Bring the hands to a diamond shape at the head of your mat. Thumbs touching and pointer fingers touching. Feeling that connection with the support of Mother Earth as you connect deeper in to your breath. Feeling how the hips slowly melt towards the ground. How the heart slowly melts towards the ground as well as you connect in. Deeper with that four to ratio breath. Letting everything drop away in importance and fully connect in with this love that you're giving yourself. Fully connecting in with how that breath nurtures you, supports you, and connects you in with that deeper sense of knowing that you are fully loved, fully cherished, and fully supported. For your next three rounds of breath in child's pose, let your exhales be an open mouth release of anything causing tension, stress, worry or blockages of connecting in with your healthiest, happiest self. Inhaling. <sighs> Let's give ourselves one more of those. Bringing the ujjayi breath into effect by creating that slight constriction to the back of the throat. Hearing the wave-like resemblance in the ears as the breath moves in and out. My intention for today's class is to bring awareness to our immense worthiness. In Western culture, it seems that the whole entire mentality of individualism and separateness is perpetuated. With this separateness and individualism being pressed upon us, it is easy to believe that as an individual, we are not a vital, worthy component of the greater whole. Quoting Bashar, if you weren't worthy, you wouldn't exist. In all reality, we each are an interlinked aspect of each other's lives. This illusion of separation is just that, an illusion. Just as I am an important sparkle of light that is worthy of showing my brilliance, so are you. Please take the next few moments to connect in with an intention that you would like to create for yourself. Where are you feeling unwanted, unseen, unfelt? 
Connect in with these places within your body, within your mind, within your belief system. And then create the opposite. You are seen. You are felt. You are worthy. You are wanted. Breathe into the absolute knowing that all of you is worthy. Take the next 10 breaths here to connect into a place in your life that needs some extra support from you so that it may know on a deeper level that it is vital to the sparkle that you create in the world. Five more breaths here, child's pose. Now on your next exhale, allow the hands to come back into engagement, arms stay engagement as well, and then walk your hands right on over to the right side on your inhale. Create that intention of love to come into that left side waist as you press the left hip towards the left heel. Feeling the opening in the left lung. Two more breaths here. At the end of your next exhale, let yourself come back to center. And then on the inhale, walk the hands to the left, opening up the right side waist, the right lung. Keeping that right hip connected to the right heel, feeling that love entering through the breath. One more breath here. And then at the end of the exhale, come back to center. Press against the hands to let the heels come a little further back towards the heels as you round your shoulders towards the mat. Creating extra space for the back of the heart. Inhale, slide on through, coming onto the hips and coming into Sphinx Pose. Coming onto the forearms, let the elbows be right underneath the shoulders. Fingers are spread super wide. And letting the eyes come to close as you soften the facial features, feeling the shoulders drawing back down that back, giving extra space for the heart to shine through the collarbones, drawing the feet into the mat, Hips pressed into the ground, helping you ground and center. Three more breaths here.
Exhale, lowering the heart, drawing the hands under the shoulders. Inhale, rising into cobra, keeping that pelvis grounded into the mat. Inhale, shoulders sliding back. Exhale, lowering yourself back on down. Creating that connection of the breath and the movement in you. And exhale. Once again, letting those eyes close, letting that parasympathetic nervous system come into play. Exhale, lowering back down. Inhale, coming back, and this time staying in Cobra, rounding those shoulder blades towards the mat, elbows stay bent, opening the heart. Hmm. Giving space for anything holding you back from connection with your worthiness to release itself as you open the heart even more with the breath. One more breath here. Exhale, pressing back into child's pose. Two breaths here, reconnecting with your intention. And at the end of your next exhale, at the toes, tuck and rise up onto down dog. Create a moment of intention for awareness to alignment. Spreading the fingers wide, shoulders rolling towards the ground, head shaking out to loosen the cervical spine. Bending both knees and feeling the space coming into effect between the shoulder blades at the back of the heart. And then straightening those legs again as much as feels comfortable for you. Letting the heart melt towards the ground a little bit more. Inhale, walk, step, or maybe jump to the hands. Inhale, rising halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Twice more with movement. Inhale, pressing against the shins to create more space between the vertebra. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. And exhale. This time, placing the hands on the hips, flat back, rise on up with the legs engaged. Exhale, letting go of the hands, drawing the hands towards the ground. Feel into your mountain pose. Connecting in with the four corners of the feet, the power emanating up through the feet, into the legs, into the hips, up through the spine, and out the cranium, helping you totally fill and completely become aware of that brilliance within. Drawing the hands to the heart, pull the toes up off the mat, engaging the arches of the feet, engaging the knees, Letting the kneecap slide up towards the hips. Core is engaged. One more breath here in mountain pose. Softening the eyes, softening the jaw. Deep breath. Inhale, hands to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stepping into plank. Placing the knees on the ground. Exhale, all the way down to the mat. 
Inhale, Salabhasana, rising with the feet and the hands off the mat. Neck is long. Three breaths here. Feeling your strength, feeling your power, but at the same time being compassionate for yourself, feeling yourself, seeing yourself, being there for yourself. Two more breaths. Last breath, really letting it count. Exhale, letting the left cheek come onto the mat, relaxing into the ground. And rocking the hips from side to side. Inhale, hands come underneath the shoulders, rise in cobra. Exhale, pressing back into child's pose. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, down dog. Stepping the left foot to center. Let the right toes rise on your inhale. Exhale, coiling the belly in, letting that right foot step on through, maybe helping it with that right hand if you need to. Exhale, letting the left knee come on down to the mat. Inhale, press against that right knee to bring yourself up. Interlacing the fingers behind the back. Exhale, let yourself drop deeper into the lunge. Close the eyes and feel the opening of your heart. As you allow yourself to break through anything that's keeping you in that negative belief pattern of unworthiness. If you did not have importance, if you were not worthy, you would not exist. You exist. The breath is here to remind you that at every moment, you are important. Two more breaths here, opening the heart. Feeling your love for self with compassion and kindness. Letting the hands go, bringing the hands to the mat, stepping that right foot back. Exhale, child's pose with knees spread wide. Inhale, snaking on through. Coming in to Cobra. Exhale, coming all the way back down onto the belly. Inhale, Salabhasana. Neck long, hands and feet rising. Facial features soft. Rooting, centering, and grounding into the truth of who you are. Three more breaths here. One more breath, really letting it count. Exhale, hands coming under the shoulders. Inhale, rising into cover once again. Exhale, pressing back into child's pose. Inhale, tucking the toes. Exhale, rise into down dog. Inhale, right foot steps to center. Feeling that grounding sensation on your next inhale. Let the left toes rise. Coiling through the belly, placing that left hand Foot down between the hands, letting that left hand help that left foot if need be. On the inhale, let that right knee come to the mat. Pressing against the left knee, come into lunge. Interlace the fingers behind the back, opposite grip the last time so that you can connect into change in a kind, loving way. Inhale, lowering yourself deeper into that lunge. Close the eyes and open the heart. 
Five breaths here. Connecting in with your truth. One more breath. And on the exhale, coming forward. Stepping that left foot to match the right. Inhale, bringing the hands towards the head of your mat, coming onto the fingertips. Let the chest lower itself on towards the mat, keeping the hips stacked on top of the feet, top of the knees. Coming on to the chin or maybe the forehead. Happy doggy pose. The more we keep our hips stacked on top of the knees, the more ability we, ability we allow for that heart to open. Rolling those shoulders towards the mat a little bit more. Exhale, let it go. Come back on to the heels. Close the eyes for a moment and connect in with the shifts you've created for yourself. Hmm. And then letting the feet come on around. And rolling yourself on down one vertebra at a time. Drawing the knees into the chest. Hugging those knees deeply towards the armpits, really feeling that love for you, for your truth. And then letting it go, coming into Shavasana, palms facing up, feet wider than hip width apart, shoulders drawing wide, allowing space for the back of the heart. Hands wider than the shoulders, rocking the head from side to side, finding the center of your skull. Eyes closed. And connecting in with a beautiful sense of relaxation. Penetrating deeply into every single cell of your body. Connecting in with the most important pose of yoga, Shavasana. Letting yourself drop deeper into the support of your mat. Helping you to know on a cellular level that you truly are cherished, loved, and supported. Thank you from the depth of my heart for connecting in with you and your worthiness so that you can become truth to your purpose in a compassionate, kind-hearted way. Quoting William James, Act as if what you do makes a difference. It does. And love and light to you for coming to the mat and giving yourself this gift so that you can connect in with the way that you make a difference in the world. Om Namah Shivaya. Namaste.